Amstrad was a company that had made a name for itself making single box music systems at an appealing price point and took the same approach to the home computer. The Amstrad CPC-464 was introduced in June of 1984 in the UK. The CPC had a mechanical keyboard, a numerical pad, a cursor pad alongside a system comprising of a monitor, computer and integrated tape deck with a PSU housed inside the monitor to power everything. The 464 sold for £250 with a green screen or £350 for a colour CRT monitor. Following the introduction of the CPC-6128 in late 1985, the CPC-464 prices were cut by £50. Unfortunately, the Amstrad never reached the high sales of the Sinclair Spectrum or the Commodore 64. Locomotive Software wrote an easy-to-use system, BASIC, for the Amstos OS, a completely embedded BASIC that utilised the 27-colour palette, 16 of which could be displayed in the lowest resolution mode. Locomotive suggested using a Z80, an Amstrad change from the proposed 6502 processor. This was a good move that allowed Spectrum games to be easily ported over. The 464 could also use the operating system CPM 2.2 or 3.0 when loaded from an external floppy disk on a peripheral unit, a 3-inch Hitachi 180KB disk drive. A lot of great CPM software was adapted for the Amstrad CPC. It wasn't all rosy for the Amstrad CPC. The main problems with the machine were it being held back by a lack of hardware sprite capabilities and tapes were slow and unreliable. In 1990, the 464 Plus replaced the CPC 464 in the model lineup and production of the CPC 464 was discontinued. The Amstrad CPC 464 certainly deserves its place in history. As such, it was one of the best 8-bit machines from its era.